Hi, it's your ugly cousin, guys. How y'all doing? I just put a um video up on YouTube, on Facebook, YouTube time. Hold up, y'all, just a second. I'm gonna have to write that out of this. I'm gonna get the It's your ugly cousin. How y'all doing? Marvin, I'm going to tell you to come over here and watch this video because I'm going to explain to you what happened to Bruce. Bruce had HIV. I guess it, it, it went to AIDS. And in the 80s, when everybody was getting that AIDS and, and HIV, they didn't know much about it. And in California, I don't know about the rest of the country, but in California, they had a pit, and they was putting the people with the AIDS, HIV positive AIDS, I, I don't forget, whatever, in the day gone pit, and burning them up, okay, they were doing that, okay, you can Google it, you can look it up, you can find it, now if you can't find it, it should be available, okay? If you know any of Bruce's family, ask them. okay? They did that to our boy. They did that they, to him and a whole lot of other people, okay? I went to Cal. I went to Louisiana. When we go to Louisiana back in the day, when we go to Louisiana, we have um, a whole month out there, okay? Because we go to Texas, spend a couple weeks there. Go to Louisiana, spend a couple weeks there, and then travel time. So we gone a month. We gone a whole month or more. Okay. So my bestie Yvonne, Maceo's first wife, and Bruce, we were all at my apartment, my very first apartment. I stayed on Creed, and we were laughing and talking and joking and everything. Bruce had divorced his wife. He had got married. He had a daughter. He has a daughter out there. He had got married and everything. Bruce is crazy. See, I love him. I was like, Bruce, why are you divorced her? And she said that you ain't gonna never be able to find you nobody. He was like, F her. I'm more man than she'll ever see and more woman than she'll ever be. I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> But that what Bruce told me. And then, okay. So I left and I went to Louisiana. When I came back, I couldn't find him. You know, he had moved. Well, he had not moved. He had died. So he was not in his place. I didn't know his wife, so I didn't, you know, know how to, you know, contact her. So I got in touch with Yvonne. Yvonne told me he had um, got caught up in that situation with the AIDS and everything, and everybody who had it and died from it was burned because the government was afraid, and they didn't know what to do with all these people with this virus, and they were afraid to bury them because they thought it was going to contaminate the, the dirt, and it was a lot going on during that time. The 80s, okay? See, we ain't got no, we didn't have no um, YouTube and stuff, so we, we it's, it's a lot of hearsay. 
But I'm telling you, you ask some more people, they're going to tell you the same thing. There's some people who live out here. Matter of fact, my daughter's boyfriend, Dawson, his father, Dawson is Caucasian. His father tells a story of a family member who ended up in that pit and got burnt up. Okay? So it did happen. It happened. Okay? But, um, you know, they didn't know much about it. They was just afraid of it. You know, the unknown, and they do crazy things, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Okay? You remember Bruce? That was my best friend. You know that. That was my best friend. Okay? So anyway, yeah, that's what happened to Bruce. Okay? And so anyway, um, to show you how it was just swept under the rug, that was in the 80s. And you didn't even know. Okay? And you know, Bruce was our pilot. We've been knowing Bruce since elementary, I mean, since kindergarten. You know, we started out with kindergarten. Okay? You had that crush on my cousin, Karen. Okay? But, um, yeah, that's what happened to Bruce. Okay? And so, if you guys want to go over on Facebook and check out my live. Okay? And so, Angel, when you come on, you got to show me what's going on in my live because... Only person who came on was Marvin. I told you I was going to check to see who it was once I got through. Let me go get me an Astro. I'll be right back, okay? Hi, y'all. I'm back. And why am I walking around in my gown? Well, today when I took my shower, I put my gown on, and um, I just walk around my gown all day long, okay, motivating me, this is the gown that I wanted to show you, this motivating me, trying to get me to uh, get up and do something with myself and my life, and, yeah, okay, so you know how to do um, cartoons, maybe I should take a picture of myself in this gown and see what kind of cartoon do um, the internet come up with. And, um, maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know, y'all. Anyway. Ooh. Yes, I did say all of that on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook. I said all of that on Facebook. Because this is the, the reason why I said the things that I said on Facebook today. Today is my Auntie Tootie's birthday. So, I don't even know what today is. It's Monday. Okay, it's my auntie birthday. And so I did it today. I went online. I was looking at um, some of the stuff they gave her a big old birthday party. My, my nieces out here told me they was giving her a birthday party. And I said, well, tell her I said happy birthday and send our love, you know. And so, you know, I backed up. I don't want to, you know, don't nobody say I did nothing to ruin her day. So I um, wasn't even on her page, you know. So I did go on her page today because today is her birthday. And wished her a happy birthday, and I seen all the love she was getting from her nieces and nephews and everything. And it just reminded me of the hate that I get, okay? And my auntie is such a wonderful, loving person. I wonder if she condone all the hate her kids have towards me. Or is she angry, too, that I'm telling all her ex-husband? I never asked her, okay? Because it don't matter one way or the other. If she have a problem with it, you know, I'm not going to really care, okay? Because I'm thinking no. Because it was a picture of her and my cousin, the one who um, had a baby by her uncle, okay? To me, that was you saying, I support that. Niggas do what they do, okay? I support that. That's what I, I took that. Hold on, y'all. I know. I know. I know. I so when Tiffany got off, they didn't want to eat what I had made. And so she wanted me to fry this chicken. 
Oh, that's what I'm doing. Finally, see. She kept on saying, um, talking like The Sims. You ever heard of that game, The Sims? She was like, uh, Aqua, uh, Rip Cage. Uh, she was just, you know, quoting Sims, you know. And so I said, okay, fine. Go to the store and go pick me something up, and then I'll, I'll cook this for you. So she went to go and do that for me, so I'm doing this for her. Okay? Okay? Teamwork, make your dream work, okay? So, yeah, child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I, I put the uh, video up um, just before I came on here and started doing this. So, if y'all know something about live, and you can tell me how come nobody is out there when I do my live, because I know they're there, okay? And one thing, my cousin Karen used to come on Facebook. But I, I'm going to have to check and see if she's still my friend. Because I told you my hackers went inside of my um, channel, my page, or whatever this is, and deleted um, people right in front of my face. Yeah. And so I'm like, wait a minute. I was just talking to her. So any of y'all who see this, and you did not delete me, but I deleted you, and you're like, why? I might not have did it, y'all. Okay? There's somebody um out there, and I'm thinking, you know, it's space. I'm thinking so. Okay? Because from what I remember, her mama wasn't that computer sad. But her mama definitely is filled with hair. Okay? And so, if y'all wonder why I keep coming on doing this, because I'm trying to get y'all to quit hate so damn much. Okay? Yes. I went through what I went through. Yes, I'm trying to get justice. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the video <laughs> was very revealing today. Robert, I took your advice. I didn't write the book yet. I'm going to write the book. But I did let it be known who I am. And why I be saying the shit I say about the celebrities to be lying on, on, on the pop. Okay? I let it be known. Okay? Your career wasn't shit, so y'all use his name as clout, okay? It still didn't do shit for your career. Because you're either talented or you're not, okay? Lying on somebody, saying they're your best friend or that was the love of your life. If this, Let me say this to you. If he was so much the love of your life, then why you left his ass and went to the next one, okay? And you weren't thinking about his ass, okay? You was very content in your relationship, okay? But then when he passed, and they deemed him a legend, okay? You wanted to jump on that coat okay? Yeah, that's what you did, okay? And you did too, okay? And all the rest of you lying ass up, okay? Because you know he gone. But where the fuck was you at when he was here? Huh? Hating on you. With the rest of the motherfuckers, he was hating on you, okay? See, you no, know, it wasn't on internet, but we got memories, okay? And his boys need to come. I've seen some of his boys come forward and call out one of you bitches, but the other one lying too, okay? Bitch, you was all happy, content in your relationship, doing what you do. You didn't get two Fs about his ass, okay? And he's one of them kind of, oh, you don't want to be? Okay, cool, bye. He went on about his business. Yes, I'm sure he's very friendly because he is that type of person. I do not know the um, entertainer. But the, that person, that that man, I know him. And he ain't gonna cry over no bitch. Okay? He ain't. You don't wanna be with him, he is going on, moving on. Okay? But now he's dead and gone and everything. Everybody talking about the love of my life. Yes, we love each other. But you showed no love when he was alive. Okay? That's what I didn't see. I didn't see that. Okay? I saw um, one bitch was like, I'm, moving, I'm, I'm trying to uh, scale up to something better. So she thought she had did that. Okay? I don't know why y'all trying to keep that shit a secret. We all remember who you was fucking with at the time. Okay? And it wasn't him. And you didn't give two fucks about him. Okay? But now he the love of your life. What happened to the nigga you married? Okay? That's what my thing is. What happened to that motherfucker? Oops. See, there I go. But I'm going to show post. Okay? I sure am. Because, yeah, none of y'all know me. And I don't know none of y'all. Okay? How can I say you lying on me? Like this? You lying. Your ass is lying on that man. 
You love him so much, you would be lying on him. That man dead and gone, and y'all just lying on him. Okay? And the, the chick who was telling her kids all the fantasies and shit, you got their head fucked up. Okay? You got their head totally fucked up behind your eyes. Okay? You was content. You was very happy, remember? Yeah, got what you want. All right? Well, I speak on it, y'all. I do. I speak on it because people up in that in that um holly weird, they, they really think that they could just spend their lives any kind of way they want to and you supposed to leave that hype. But it's more people in Holly Weird that was there. And they know your ass is lying. And I've seen some of them call you out. I wish they called the other one out too, because that bitch lying too. That bitch lying just as much as the first bitch lying. Both of y'all bitches is lying. Because I want to be done when she get back. So anyway, yeah, I was sitting up there tripping off of that. I was looking and everything, and I was like, these bitches is so fucking phony. But I told y'all we had a name for them. We called them Tupperware hoes, okay? Because they was uh, durable plastic, strong. You know how when you go get that work did. You know back then it was you know considered plastic. You know, all right. Getting all them injections and all the, the fake titties and the fake booties and whatever, you know. So, you know, I wonder, I don't know, if um if I could afford it, would I be classic too? Okay? We used to talk about that. He liked me just the way I am. He didn't want me to put no plastic on me. Okay? He liked it, all of my shit. All right? So, you know. I know it's, it's a, a you thing. You made the decision to do whatever you did to yourself, but um, I'm just saying that all of the, the plastic y'all did, you know, I'm, I'm like, one is what a, a man who she don't want, the other one don't speak of a man except for the one that she threw away. She threw his ass away. She didn't want him. Okay? But now he didn't love her life. He's free. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Come on now. Stop lying on that man. All right? Okay? That's all I'm saying. Stop lying on that damn man. All right? I said it on the video on, on YouTube. If you can't say it to him, don't say it about him. Okay? That's real talk. Okay? So, yeah, I, um... Ugh. So, yeah, I, um... I don't remember the last video I put on my YouTube channel. So, therefore... Let me see. Uh, yeah. It's not charging no more, Ron. My phone stopped charging, so I um, ended the video and came over here to do this one for y'all. And I'm supposed to put it over on the ugly cousin channel because this is your ugly cousin. Okay? And so, anyway, let me tell y'all about this, this gown I got on. This is the gown I had on when I went into the. Um, Shelter, the mission, the rich and rescue mission. Okay, remember I was telling y'all we used to do business in that neighborhood. Okay, and I had passed that place so many times I ain't never paid it no attention. I knew it was there, I knew what it was, but never paid it no attention. Never thought I'd be up in there in one of the beds. Okay, never would have thought. Okay, so when I did end up in one of the beds, is it charging? Can you look at it until? 
Oh, yep, it is. It's charging, y'all. Come on, it's charging. Okay. But when it get charged up and stuff, I'm just making videos from now on. Okay? Because when it won't charge, it go days without charging. And I haven't been able to replace the phone yet. Because, see, I'm not going to sit up here. And, yes, I have money in the bank. Okay? But that money is not to be touched. Okay? Not until I can show the activity that the people had did uh, unlawfully in the account. Okay? Once I, I show all that, you know, do what we got to do with the people who was using my mama like she was a supplementary motherfucking income, then I can have access to that account. Okay? Because, I mean, you know, I know I've been complaining this stuff, and I know my cousins in California and in Louisiana, my cousins in Texas don't know what the fuck is going on. they like, what the hell is going on? They getting clues, though. They getting clues here and there. Okay? But you, the ones in Louisiana, see, y'all sided with Uncle Satan and did not like me, and Uncle Satan was blowing smoke up your ass. Oh, you so free. You could have been an info. Oh my God, back in the day, you could have been a Supreme. Oh my God, you, you could have been, some, name some girl groups, okay? Yeah, okay? And so you know, we used to entertain at the reunion. And he's sitting up there, come on, let's practice. We're going to do in blah, 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 blah. Can I just say, I met them before, okay? And Yvette was almost an in okay? Remember that, Betty? He was almost an in okay? I didn't tell that part on there. But yeah, Dwayne is my friend, and he was going to let you be an because you could sing your ass off. But then when you start making all them damn demands and shit, he was like, unless you're going to be in the group too, I can't fuck with her. And you know, I'm hella shy. I can sing, I can dance, but I just don't do it in front of people. Okay? I have complexes because of, you know, what I went through. I have complexes. I can sing my ass off, I can dance my ass off, but that was not my desire to be a singer or a dancer. My desire was to be somebody's wife and somebody's mom. Okay? And, and, and have a successful career and be very, very, you know, happy in my life. You know, with my man, with my children, with my grandchildren. You know, just be one. That's a lot I did what I had to do. Okay. So, anyway, anybody who knows, and y'all can tell me what's going on with my live feed so I can fix it. Because on the uh, YouTube, no, Facebook, when I went live, I seen one person look. And I thought it was my cousin Terry because he, you know, he always. Okay? But it wasn't him. It was my friend Mark. Okay? I told you, I have friends that go all the way back to the sandbox. And he is one of them. Okay? He is one of my friends from the sandbox. Okay? I thought he was going to be family. I thought he was going to end up marrying my cousin Karen. But her husband saw her, swooped up on her, married her. And they stayed together until death did them part. That's my, my fucking cousin. Okay? Love him. Okay? So, you know, it is what it is that, um, you know, um, her husband died the same year Mark died. So let me tell y'all a story about that. Okay. So when Mark passed away, I put on my um, page, Widow. Because mm -hmm. um, Mark, my significant other, he passed. Jimmy, my significant other, he passed. Pac was my significant other, he passed. I'm Widow. Okay. Yeah, Cassius is out there. Well, he out there, okay? He ain't thinking about my black ass, okay? But them, them three right there, okay? Those were the love in my life, okay? And so, anyway, when I seen the videos of the people, because what happened was I didn't see the video, okay? My girlfriend saw the video. And she was like, girl, I seen this video of this woman, and she was saying this and this and that. And I was like, well, who is this woman? And she told me, and I told her the truth. I told her what really went down back in the time, okay? I told her the truth, all right? 
Let me try to play my dude like no B.I. bitch. Okay? She did not want him. She found somebody she did want. She broke up with him. She broke up with him. And went on about her business. And went think about his ass. Okay? But then when his name became iconic, she reattached herself to him. Okay? Everybody know they dated. Everybody also know that you, you was cheating and you left his ass for the next nigga. And don't nobody want to say who it is. And I'm so tempted to say his name. Okay? Because I don't know who you're married, but I know that man who was married and he was fucking with. I know him. I don't know him personally, but everybody remember that. Huh, y'all? Y'all remember that? Huh? Okay? But you want to try to act like you the greatest love of your life. So anyway, yeah, I be having issues when I watch the shit like that, you know, because I be like, damn, my grandson asked me, man, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? I said bringing people back from the dead and have their memory be intact, okay? Because you know all those um, pet cemetery movies, when they come back from the dead, they ain't the same, right? But if we could bring his ass back from the dead and his mind is intact, he would be checking bitches left and right. Okay, and no, bitch, she would not be checking me. Okay, we would be checking these hoes together. Okay, so I would, yeah. Okay, because see, while y'all was doing it wrong, I was hiding because I was upset. I didn't feel like you know I was worthy of the relationship that we could have had. By the time I was like, okay, I'm supposed to stop running, I'm supposed to stop hiding. Yes, nigga, I do love you. And he was like, I know. I knew it. I knew it all the time. All the way to here, but he said, you know how much I love you. And so we decided to stop worrying about what the hearsay was out there and just deal with each other. And the nigga went to Vegas, and y'all know the rest of this thing on the story. Okay? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But y'all do not know the story led up until he can't. It was the, uh, I'm a, I want to say it was the 13th. On a Wednesday the 13th, when he showed up at the house, that's when it was. Okay, and see, I'm speaking on it now because I'm supposed to tell it all, y'all. I'm supposed to tell it all. Okay? Well, you know, as much as need to be told, all right? Because telling it all is nothing about business. I am just to um, share a lot of the good child, okay? Yes, I am. Look at my hair. I need to go shopping. My girl, Daishiki, said that's tacky when, when it's like this. But the first time I came over here, I had plaits in my hair. Remember that, y'all? That was tacky. I mean, I had not cute braids. and cute, They were plait. Like, see me? Yeah, that's what I had on the first time I came on board and was talking to y'all because I am not my hair. I am the soul that lives within. Okay? I am her. Right? And yeah, don't don't judge me for my hair. Okay? Maybe that's what Jada people were saying. Don't judge me for my hair. Okay? But I, I'm really not judging her for her hair. I'm judging her for her action. And am I judging her? Yeah, I am. Okay? Because she married, look y'all. Come on now. She married Will Smith. And she miserable as fuck. How the fuck you marry Will Smith if you miserable, bitch? How you because you don't love it. Okay? And don't lie and say you love Pac because you didn't love him either. Okay? You love dick. You don't love him. That's attached to it. You just love the act. Okay? That's what you told us. Okay? You wasn't addicted to nobody. Just the penis. Okay, women, y'all. Y'all know I'm cooking chicken. I can't let it burn. Okay? Y'all know I'm cooking
Can you see? Let's see. Put it in the oven for about five minutes. Then it be so crunchy and, and still juicy and everything. Five minutes, y'all. Five minutes. Okay, so that's the one that been in there for five minutes already. Okay, Mark's sister taught me that trick years ago. Um, let me see if her name Curlin. Curlin taught me that trick years ago. You, um, do your chicken and you stick it in the oven for about five minutes. Try it. Okay, just try it. Okay. So anyway, I ain't gonna keep y'all long. I just wanted to come on and say, hey, how y'all doing? You sure as we could. Saying what's up? Okay. Yes, and I'm talking about them bitches because I don't like how they talk about, you know, lying hoes. Yeah, I said it. Okay, your money can't stop me from going along with your lies. Okay, one of y'all so busy chasing that clout, you trying to get um the money. Okay? If you quit chasing the money, the money will chase you. The line, it'll come to you. Okay? I'm just saying that for real. Fix my wig. I'm gonna have to go online and order me some more wigs. Trust me, don't order no wigs online unless you go to that biblical class collection. Because everybody else send you some stuff, make you look like a clown. I mean, I got some hot pink hair. I mean, if I want a hot pink hair, I'll see it. I want hot pink hair. Okay? I did, oh, fuck. Okay. But I did not want hot pink hair. They sent me this hot pink hair. Okay, but when you go on her, her thing, I haven't been on there. That, that was like, what, a year or two that I bought that hair. So I'm going to go online and see if it's still online and, you know, I can still get hair through there. Okay? Because those are my best wig. And this is the thing. When we went to the wedding, Tiffany wore one and then she wore the other one to work. So I know they was good because she don't wear wigs. You see all the hair she got. Okay? I got hair too, but I'm older. I don't want to do my hair. Young people are supposed to stay with their hair did. I seen Karen daughter shit. All their hair was with. Okay? But they in California too, though. Okay, where the good hairdressers are at. Out here, ain't no good hairdressers. I'm telling you, okay? The hairdresser that my granddaughter goes see, she's been seeing her ever since she was little. And that's the best hairdresser out here. And this other woman who she used to see when she was a much younger girl, I can't think of her name. Peaches, Peaches. Peaches and Kai. Kai still do her hair. But Peaches, I think, retired. But those are the only two who do black hair and make it come out looking like this. The other ones don't know what they're doing, okay? I'm just serious. I haven't met them yet. If they out here, I ain't met them, okay? So I'm hoping I do get a chance to meet them, you know? Because I do be wanting to wear my hair sometimes, but I'm too fucking lazy to do it. I do it sometimes. I know y'all can't tell if it's mine or the wig, but that's the beauty of it. You don't know. If you rocking with me, if this is me, or if this is something I pulled out of my hat box. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I ain't going to keep y'all. I'm just going in here. And check out the video that I posted on, on um, Facebook. I'm going to check that out. I never even checked it out. Um, when I tuned out, Marvin asked me about Bruce. So I answered him. And then I came over here to elaborate a little bit further about it. Okay. So anyway, yeah, this is one of our besties. Bruce, he was quite the, 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 the man. He really was. You know, I remember one time he came to my house with a, a box. You know, a box full of candies. Not candies that you eat, but the shoes, candies. And I'm like, dude, what you doing with all these shoes? He was like, honey, watch this. This dude pulled out a thing like this, a fingernail polish, and he painted his candies the colors that he wanted them to be. Okay? He was so creative. Okay? And I'm like, dude, I got some candy. I want to pay mine. And I, um, that's my brother. And I, um, went ahead on and I painted my candies gold. Sparkly gold, right? And people was like, oh, where you get them from? I'm like, oh, my, my friend Bruce hooked me up. Bruce? Bruce great? Oh, yeah. 
So I ain't tell them that we put fingernail polish to all of our candies <laughs> and customize them ourselves. See, he'd have had a clothing line. He'd have had a shoe line. He, you know, I miss him in my life every day because he was my ride or die. I don't give a damn. He was my ride or die. Okay? She had, from the from the cradle, damn near. Liz is from the cradle, though. I remember her in my crib. My cousin Liz. I know y'all heard me talk about how Liz cussed my ass out again. And yeah, Liz. The family know what I'm talking about. But y'all who's watching, this is my cousin Liz. Oh my God. I can remember being in the crib with her and her twin sister. A lot of y'all didn't know she had twin. Huh? Yes, child. Her twin passed away when we were kids. I was still in the cradle when she passed away. But um, we still friends to the day. Because her mama and my mama are best friends. So her mama, my auntie, my mom, her auntie. Her brother's my brother. My brother is her brother. Okay? BB. Black boy. With his fine ass. Okay? And David. David was supposed to be my husband. But I was just a little girl, right? And he was way older. Okay? So some woman named Tina snatched his ass up. Gave him a bunch of babies. So twins that were born on my birthday. Awesome woman, okay? So anyway, I had to respect that because I was just a kid, okay? But yeah, he, he, and he's still fine, okay? To this day, he's fine as heck, okay? So anyway, I am not supposed to be on here no long time. I'm supposed to get off, matter of fact. I just want to come on and say, hey, I'm just post this so I can give y'all some stuff. I'll give y'all some updates later. I haven't been feeling it. That's how come when I took my shower, I put on my gown. And I just been lounging in my gown all day long. Okay, it's cool. I mean, people be on here, and um, they be in less than this. Okay? So, I'm just saying. I'm good. Okay? I just wanted to know what y'all think. Should we do a, 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 a cartoon of me in this? Has it been five minutes, y'all? I ain't been paying attention. It ain't been five minutes. So anyway, I'm just going to go because I don't want my stuff to be in there tomorrow. I want it crispy when I drive. Okay? So. Did I hear that? Is that a car or a sneeze? Couldn't tell. Looking to see if it's, it's charging. Because if it charges up again, I'm going to try to call my brother on Messenger. See if he answers. Um, my phone is off. Okay? I ain't been able to get it back on. Okay? Because I guess once it's cut off, they want you to pay that whole fee. And, you know, we ain't got it like that. So you need to tell my mama, you need to go in there in that account. You go in that account. You got other accounts you need to add to. You add account one. But, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, it is what it is. I'm going to do two minutes. Okay? So, the kids is watching TV in my background. They wasn't when I first started doing this. Um, it was on a video of Pop. And I was going to go watch it. Now he done put it on this. And you know, I can't have that in my background. Why? I can't have that in my background. Did you push mute? Nigga, you ain't pushing on mute. I still hear it. So anyway, y'all. I'm supposed to go anyway, so I, I, I don't know. I'm going to try to post it. If they let me post it, I'm going to post it. But, you know, all of these videos that we post, we're going to be doing a lot of editing and try to take some of the belligerent parts out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try. So anyway, y'all take care, stay blessed, and um, try to spread some kindness in this world. And it's ugly world. Oh, you know what? Speaking of the ugly world, I am going to get my phone. Because you know what, y'all? I sent this video to a few of my, my people, and it was something in the sky. I don't know what's going on, okay? But I sent it to a few people. So the other night, me and my daughter was out. Me and her always together when she liked this happen. The um, oldest daughter, not the baby girl. <coughs> it always be Tiffany. So me and her is riding. I said, Tiffany, do you see that in the sky? She said, yeah, mom, it's probably a helicopter or an airplane. I said, helicopters can just cover in the air 
I said, but they make this sound like, you know, they make the sound. So this airplane or whatever this was in the sky, it wasn't making no sounds like a helicopter, but it was just there. I said, let's not look at it because I, if, if they abducting people, let's not be abducted, okay? She said, mama, you crazy? I said, but look at it, baby, look. I said, is that the same thing we saw in the other apartment? She said, yeah, it is, okay? Just as clear, just as clear. Y'all be seeing anything? And y'all stayed up in y'all skies? Because in the battle, oh, oh, mommy loves you too, Poo Poo Bear. I hope you still love me regardless if I didn't you. Me. I do, but I wasn't expecting it. I tried to get a big bag for us. I didn't have enough. Oh my goodness. So I got this. Look at my pocket. Look at this. Is that for you? No, I said I tried to get something big for all of us, but I didn't have enough. So I got that for us. Okay, because we living on a budget up in here. All right. Are you but, What's me? I don't think so. I turned the oven off. The ticket probably needs to be turned over. Watch your hands and turn it over. That's the last backup. The rest of it is already done and in the oven. Let's see. I'll you Sorry, you have to up. See? Uh huh. I'll take that out of here because that's in my background. And I'm um, doing a video of that. Okay, she know how to put a smile on her mama's face. It's a hard knock life for us. It's a hard knock life for us. I know the rest of the song, but I know it's a hard but I know it's cold outside. <laughs> it's hot in here. Girl, you do. So take off all your clothes. It is getting too hot. I'm going to get my third off. It ain't hot, y'all. <laughs> I ain't got so I ain't got no clothes on. It's hot. She's gonna come in here, open up the thing on door it's that I'm sitting hot. in front of me. Come on, it's hot. Okay. I ain't having no hot flashes right now. I'm cold. I'm having hot flashes. You know, because she's gonna lay in front of the fireplace. That's probably why she thinks it's hot in here because I got the fireplace on. I like electric fireplaces. The first time I seen an electric fireplace in person was at my cousin Kendra house. And I was like, I like this cousin. Oh, this is not. Nice. And I was like, she moved. And I was like, girl, sell me your fireplace. She's like, I'm not selling my shit. I said, I feel you, cousin. Okay. So I went shopping. And honey, let me just hear you. I found me a fireplace. Not the one that y'all be seeing all the time. We got two up in here. The, the place came with a fireplace. And then when my cousin Victoria didn't have no place to put the other fireplace, we kept it and um, put it up. So now we got two fireplaces. Okay, I want to know who put that damn song on. Why don't turn that off? Yeah, it's a hard knock life for us. I guess they watch it in. <laughs> yeah, it's all in. But the, quit playing that music. You're going to get me in trouble. This is the hard knock life. It's difficult to take the song. I need to get some tough things before they run out. So our phones are off still. Okay? I'm supposed to close this though. She got out to be out of her day go mine. She got to be. Okay. But see what she said, look. Cold. Turn the camera around. Okay, I 
hope the neighbor saw your ass. I hope not, because there's little boys out the there. Okay? It's yeah. bad enough for everybody talking about, oh, the niggas are here, the niggas are here. They're like, we like to show that kids. Okay? <laughs> uh-uh, my dude, get up on my spot. Your mama freezing me. I have to come up. Close this window. So you're going to close the door to where I can get the air. Just to go away from me. Yeah, I came over here. You can open it back up if you want to. But I came over here so I can get in front of the fireplace. Okay? Because I'm cold. Hmm. Oh, shut <laughs> Tiffany, give me my tray. Hi, dog. Give me my tray. Put it back on, on my channel on what I was going to watch. Okay? What? What? Okay. You That's Shorty right Pimpin'. Thank okay. you. What's up, Shorty Pimpin'? <laughs> Shorty Pimpin'? Why you said I'm Melinda's old man gave him that name when he was staring with him. Shorty okay? Pimpin'? I don't know what made What's him decide to call our dog Shorty Pimpin'. Why you do that to him? He calls him Shorty Pimple. I guess because he's a chihuahua. Well, let me fix this so y'all can see me. Shorty Pimple. I didn't say play it. They call him Shorty Pimple because he's a chihuahua. But he acts like he's a, a pit or a rock wall or something. Because, you know, his girlfriend was a rock waller And him and a pit had a fight over her. And he would. I know y'all. I know y'all don't believe that shit. I wish I had recorded it because they was like, what the hell is wrong with your damn dog? Don't he know that's a pit? But he had that pit bowing down. Okay? I ain't never seen no shit like that. I don't speak dog language, but I know whenever our dog start barking at him, he put his head down, put his paws down, like, okay, I submit, I submit. And I was like, damn, maybe um, Mookie named him right calling him Shorty Pimper because he ain't playing about his bitch. Okay, huh? You want to play about your bitch, huh? Rocky. Y'all know Rocky is my favorite bitch in the world, right? And I've been procrastinating. I just hope my brother don't give her away or sell her, cause I know his wife don't like me, and she know I'm in love with that dog, and I want her. But I'm supposed to be waiting until I get my RV, cause I'm going on a road trip across the country in an RV. It was just going to be me and Rocky. When we go to places like amusement parks, I would take my family. But other than that, me and Rocky is going to be exploring the United States. We're going everywhere except for Hawaii. If the Lord make it where we can go to Hawaii, we will. But um, we're going everywhere we can drive. So we can drive to Alaska and every place else on, um, on the channel. Okay. And uh how -huh. I'm supposed to go get my RV. But I fell into my depression, y'all. That shit is real. Okay? And not only me, other people falls into depression behind different reasons. Depression is real, y'all. And it, it it happens to pretty much all humans at some point in their life. They go through a depression or they you know, fall off. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not the only one. And I be talking to my friends about it, my girlfriends, my nigga friends, okay? And telling them, don't let it, you know, bring you down, you know? It's, it's a lot in life to be grateful for, to be happy about. And a lot of it is free. And see, when I get my RV, because I'm going to be getting that soon, I'm supposed to go up here and, and um, look into it. Y'all going to go with me, too. This is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to rent them and see which one I like. And um, y'all going to go with me when I rent them, see how y'all like them, okay? And y'all can help me decide which one to get, okay? Because I'm going to rent them first because you can rent them. And once I rent them, this is not illegal. This is my medicine. Once I rent them, then I'm going to travel in it. And I'm going to try everything. I'm going to try the vans. 
because they got these little bands now. Okay, that's more advanced than um my um my cousin's band. My cousin had a band, travel band. I don't even know if it was a band in it or not, but he had a really nice band when we traveled um, south. Caravan, big family, caravan all the way to the south. He was in a really nice band. And um, I told him, I love that band, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. I wanted something I could stand up and walk from the front to the back. I can go and shower. I can go and take a pee-pee. You know, I wanted all of that, all those accommodations in it, right? And so I'm going to start with a van, or I'm going to start with something, and I'm going to try everything, okay, and see what is the most comfortable for me. And then I am going to purchase it, okay? And then I'm going to drive to Alaska. Okay, I seen this woman because what got me into the van and, and uh, wanting to travel in an RV or something. I was watching this woman. I believe her name is Carolyn, and she is um, she oh, it's just her and her dog, and she drove all the way to Alaska and back, just her and her dog. Now she did talk about how it was some trolls messing with her and people trying to find out where she was and you know. She had to um, hook up with a community that had her back. And I'm like, I know that's right. So I liked that. And so I said, I said that I wanted to do that. And so, like I was saying earlier today, I've been in my feelings because when I don't feel good, I'm angry because I think I'm just, I can never stop. I, I'm going to go get her. Why should I stop? So when I'm forced to sit my butt down, I don't like that. Check it. Give me a lighter. Check it. I don't like to sit my butt down. I like to get into the mix and, and go out and do things and see things and participate in things. And, you know, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. So, not feeling good around here? Okay, you say, I'm going to take a bath. That didn't work. Take a shower. That didn't work. I was, I was just not feeling good. Okay? But guess what? Angel came in here sick. I mean, she jumped up in my bed. Tiffany, she made sure she came in, loved on all of us, and then went to Dawson House and we didn't see her in days. We've been here sick as a dog, and she over there kicking it with us. Okay, Dawson was like, "Don't come over here until you get well." I don't want to get sick. No, you did it. Did y'all hear that? I don't know who it was, but it wasn't me. Okay. My family don't care. About me. They don't care. It's like we human. This is stuff humans do. Video it. Not only video it, mama. No. This is what we do. That chicken is done. This is my medicine. I ain't doing nothing illegal. Okay. What you doing? That's your phone charging because it didn't look like it was charging. But it is. No, it's not. It's literally saying here, I'm not charging. My phone said I'm not charging? Yeah. That's what your phone said. Your phone said you're not Yeah. Oh! Oh! What? Go help her. Go help your mama. Oh Lord, this is what she done did. You can't see nothing. I see what you did. I didn't do that. Glad I turned the oven off.
So anyway, y'all, I was sitting up there. I think I was telling y'all about the stuff we were seeing in the sky, right? And then when I get my phone on, I'm going to make sure I keep it on charge. See, that's their fireplace. Okay, see there? Y'all seen ours too, right? Our fireplace is bigger than that one. Okay? And it changes color. And it's like a heater. And, you know, it's really awesome. Okay? When um, I was staying at um, my mom's, well, my aunt mom was staying with her brother. I um, slept on the floor next to her hospital bed. And um, they had like a really, really small miniature fireplace. I never seen nothing like that before. It was very, very tiny. It was the size of a, a box. The size of a box. A little bigger than a, a boot shoe box. A little bigger than that. Yeah. And I used to use it all the time because, you know, mama was like cold and hot and cold and hot. And I'd be freezing up in there. And so I would get under the cover with that little heater and get warm. And then turn it off. And instead of seeing, um, I, I mean, they, they went out there way all over there. I couldn't be comfortable, okay? So, you know, it was like, okay, this is what it is, okay? I always knew that this man hated me. So now he didn't train his kids, his grandkids to hate me. And I'm cool with it, y'all. I swear to God I am. But when I see my auntie posting pictures, um, those are my notes. And my microphone. Give me my microphone. I'm going to go give me another microphone. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Oh. E. You. <laughs> my daughter said edit that out. <laughs> so. I ain't editing that out. Okay, so anyway, this is what I like to do, y'all. I like to come on here, kick it with y'all for a little bit. I was starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable, but then I start watching um, some of my peoples, right? Like, oh, I got to tell y'all about her. Remember I was telling you about this um, Facebook person who I've been watching, who I'm just totally in awe of. I think she's awesome. Not Dr. Venus. I'm in awe of her, too. She's awesome too. But um, it's this other woman. Is this a standoff? Why y'all staring at each other? I ain't never seen a dog and the owner stare at each other that long. But what's that about, y'all? Oh, you telling him that you're the alpha? That's why he got his paw up? Exactly. And he's going in his cage? Okay. Because she the alpha. Okay. Okay. But um, when I watch this video, I'm going to crack up because I'm all over the. Oh, her name is Daishiki. And guess what, y'all? She a tranny. I don't know much about trannies, okay? Woo! I'm falling off, off of my, my pedestal, y'all. I don't know much about trends, but when I saw her, she was speaking things that, you know, I, I could um, relate to, okay? She was saying things that I concur with, and um, I was like, oh, my God, I saw this woman on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. I'm just telling, I don't know who it was, and they said, that ain't no damn woman, and I was like, okay, I'm going to tell you like my, my brother Bruce told me. She is more man than some of us will ever get, more woman than we'll ever be. That's what she that's what Bruce said. I I don't know if she ever said that, but I don't know much about Trini. I just know RuPaul. We all know RuPaul, right? And I talk shit about RuPaul because I'm like, you look better than me. I don't like you. Put on that makeup show. No, and, and look good. Okay? But I love RuPaul. Don't get it twisted now. I talk shit, but I love you, Paul. And so that's the only tranny that I knew of, okay? And then I saw her. I, I liked her immediately. I did not know she was a tranny, okay? And so I went on there, and she was talking about having sex change. And I was like, what, what is she talking about? 
And then she was like, yes, because I'm a tranny and this and this and that. And, that. and I was like, oh, somebody wasn't well, lying. She is a man. I know that's a weird statement to make. Huh? She is a man. Okay? But, um, oh. yeah. So, I guess I'm learning about trannies. I don't want to be one. But see, you know how come I resonate with them? Because um, men be, um, not men, but women. Because men don't care what you look like. They want some, okay? But women be telling me, you look like a motherfucking transvestite and you look like um a man Are you, I, I remember taking my friend we went to go buy weed back in the day when you pull up to the house and they come outside to your car we went to the dude I, i've been knowing this nigga for years and i was with my um my cousin my sister cousin bill and um beverly williams and bill said he take forever. I said, girl, and once he come to the car, he gonna talk our ear off. And so we had her newborn baby in the car. So she turning around and she taking care of the baby and stuff. And I had cut off all my hair. I do that sometimes. I didn't have no hair. I, I mean, I'm mean. I had cut it all off. I don't know why I do that. I think it's part of my depression. Sometimes I just cut off all my hair. And, um, you know, so I had just cut it all off, you know. And, and he come over there, and I'm like, hey, Larry, how you doing? He's like, I'm doing good. Is this your wife? I said, motherfucker, it's Sharon, nigga. I ain't got no motherfucking wife, nigga. He was like, I didn't even recognize. I said, apparently, shit. I said, I look like a man. He said, yeah, why you cut up all your hair? I said, I still got coochie. He said, you stupid. You stupid. <laughs> I said, no, nigga, I've been knowing you for how long? And I take off all my hair and you don't know me? Damn, nigga, all you see is my money, huh? Okay, cool. Go get my shit. Okay? I stopped fucking with Larry after that. That offended me, okay? That really offended me. I, I really thought we was cool people. You know, he uh, related to the fees. And the fees is related to the Masons. And I grew up with all of them, okay? I grew up with some of His name was Larry. I grew up with some of his sisters. These are beautiful people, okay? His sisters look like they, they belong in magazines, okay? They are gorgeous women, okay? His mama, too. His mama was um, wearing dreads um, that went damn near to her um, ankles. Her dreads had grew that long, yeah. I had never seen dreads that long before in person, yeah. So his mom had these really, really long dreads. I think Larry had started going into I heard he, I don't know if Larry's still out there. I don't even know what's up with that. Because y'all know I left California years ago. But anyway, yeah, Larry insulted me like, oh, hell of a man. So that's how come I related to her. Because, um, you know, I have been called a man before. I mean, where the motherfucker was like, bitch, you be lying. And I was like, I don't have anything to your insecure ass. I said, if you think I'm a tranny, you must want one to suck your dick. Okay, so you trying to get me to, to say that I'm one and, and let's do this? I'm not gonna be that bitch. Go find one. They out there. Okay, I know a few. I hook you up. Okay, but yeah. So I, I related to her because I, you know, because you see how I don't be um, all made up and stuff. And my friends it's like, girl, put some makeup on, fix your hair, do all of the stuff, and um, I'm gonna do that. I am, y'all. I promise y'all. I am. But I just ain't been in the mood. Can I still talk to y'all when I'm not in the mood to put on no um, paint and shit? It's okay, good. Because I don't be feeling like that all the time. If I got to do that every time we do this, y'all might not see me. Okay? Because y'all know I'm going through something and I don't feel like painting. You know? Okay? I just don't feel like it. And so, you know, ride with me now. And I'm going to paint up later, y'all. I told you I'm going shopping. I'm going to get some new helmets. Okay? I'm supposed to get it all together. Go get me some business cards. You know, they said go all in on, on my channel. So, you know, I can bring y'all better contacts. Okay? Which I'll do to uplift y'all self. See, I, I come on here and talk to y'all. And I uh, watch my girls. And I call her my girl because she wants to be identified as a girl. She said when she looked in the mirror, she see a girl. When I looked on Facebook, I saw a girl. So I'm going to respect that. Okay? 
I don't know much about that community, that life. I don't know much about the LGB. Oh, let me just stop because I don't even know all the initials, y'all. Okay? So don't get mad at me because I don't. It's just it's, it's like, you know, they're getting their respect. They've been asking for it forever. They're getting their respect. But just because y'all are getting y'all respect, everybody do not know your, your plight. I don't know your plight. Okay? Nobody's plight. When I went and her name is Daishiki. When I went and saw her, I was so invoked in her context. Laughing. Because we need to laugh. And she had me cracking up. And I was so grateful to, to be able to laugh, you know? Because, um, you know, you know me, y'all know what I'm, I'm like, you know. And so, I said, I got to find her again, because I didn't know her name. I just saw the video, right? And then she popped up, and I I started following her. So now I follow her. So that, you know, when I go, like if she's live right now, I, I be trying to catch her when she live. I think that's the only way she do her video. And she's smart as hell. He, whatever. Okay? All I'm saying is, is that totally different dynamic than my Dr. Venus. Okay? But I'm using this platform to introduce myself to a, a, a better people. You know, she is so awesome and it's people who follow her that's not trying to get in her pants that's telling her you are brilliant smart just keep focus on you but then it be those people on there that's like that is a whole man get off our, his page and saying stuff and I, and she be like why is y'all watching me if you feel that way why are you watch me and i'm like oh no that's right i'll be saying the same thing but then i found out that a lot of people that was deleted from my page i didn't even delete it that makes me feel bad because I wonder who is out there that think I deleted them and I didn't. Because I want the people that I did delete to know I did that. I want them to know I did that. Okay? But if I didn't do that, why would the person who did do it want to delete? I, I'm guessing that they just trying to delete all family members off of my page. Okay? But people like Quintessa, they can't touch it because she know that. Okay? She know better. Uh, people like Latanya, that's my sister. Okay, she was uh, with my my brother cousin. Okay, that's my sister, my dog, my dog, dog, dog. Okay, and her daughter. Okay, Gloria. Okay, and her boys. Okay, I love all of her. You know, and, and it's just some people who, if they got deleted, they would be like, "What the fuck?" Okay, I don't know she didn't delete me, and they would directly call me. They would got directly contact me and be like. Oh, so you deleting bitches now? What's up? Okay? Because, see, that's just how we roll. That's how we talk. And um, if I did it, I own it. If I didn't do it, I own that too. Am I hearing a leak or something? Dude. Hey, you. Where am I? What? Go check out the refrigerator. Is the water dripping? No, that's the chicken. Okay. So anyway, I was sitting up there watching her, Daishiki, and um, I was like, why would people say she's ugly, she's sexy? She remind me of my cousin Yvette, okay? Real sexy, petite, sexy, okay? But when you own your sexy, honey, I don't care what size you is, because my, my daughter, Sonia, is a big girl sexy, okay? Gloria, CJ, big girl sexy, okay? Women, sexy. Okay, we we you know that's that's what we do. We we sexy. Okay, we woke up like this. Okay, so anyway, I was watching her and I was like, you know, I really really enjoy this and I'm going to follow her. And then I found out that she was a man, and I was like, I'm going to get Cash App just so I could send her some money because she's like, send me a dollar. <laughs> and I'm sure people send more than a dollar, but. I want to send her a dollar just because I don't got no more than a dollar to send her. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I want to send her a dollar. She ain't asking for a whole bunch of money. I can send a dollar, okay? 
but it's a it's a cash app, right? And then they also said I need that on my channel too, because people be wanting to send me stuff, okay? But um, when I first started this, I wasn't trying to get any money. I was trying to get out my message and get my point across and and share my pain and my my um my my um journey and how when my mom you know we were abandoned my brother and I we were abandoned okay all I had was my mom and she was dying and they was using the fuck out of her and and what was my brother gonna say or do and you know I'm trying to stand up for us. Okay, the whole household attacked me. Okay, my auntie was looking like, what in the fuck? Oh, my family told me niggas are crazy. She just had that look, okay? Like they were finally showing their true color, and her son was acting just like her husband, and she was just mortified, okay? Or oh, she the best actress i ever seen in my life, okay? I don't know which one yet, okay? But... After it was all said and done and he rewarded her with all of my mama's stuff, it did not come across her mind not one time that this is wrong. This should be with her daughter. She got a mama. She got sisters. Okay? Not one time did it cross her mind to say, I'm going to collect all of this stuff and I'm taking it to the, the kids. And I'm going to give them all of the money that you stole. Everything that you took, I'm going to give it back to them. Because you were wrong. But by me never ever hearing from her and she's enjoying all of my mama's um accolades, she might as well have been a party to stealing it. And that is just how I feel about it. Okay. I, I always wonder back to that. Have y'all noticed? I always wonder back to that. Cause that's where my pain is, that's where my hurt is. And you know, I'm hoping um do do y'all see any healing happening, or am I still stuck? I think I've seen some healing. I have to shut dudes down. Every time they see women on the internet, they think you want to date. Okay? I had to just be bold and blunt, let them all know you're on the wrong damn page. Keep moving. Okay? <clears throat> So, them that's still there, that's because y'all my boys, okay? We've been knowing each other forever, okay? But these dudes, you know, I don't know them. They might know y'all. They might know my ex. But they don't know me. And niggas that do know me, they respect my ex because they really don't be on my page. They really don't. And I don't ask them to be, and I don't try to get them to be, okay? And, um, you know, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep on doing me, y'all. Ooh, am I wrong if I show that name? Am I gonna get it? I'm gonna look it up. Cause you know, I, I guess I'm supposed to have it like this, so y'all can <laughs> see. When y'all let somebody like me do this type of stuff, ain't no telling what I might say or do. Okay? Cause I, I tear these up. I tear them up. It was a blizzard, but we lived close to a Dottie's. And I, I went to the Dotties, and I went, it's a 7-Eleven right next to the Dotties, and I got me a big one. Remember back in the day, they, this is the biggest one now, but remember when they used to be huge? So I got a big go, big, 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 big. And it was, a, I made it a slurpy. And I walked into the Dotties, and the lady said, it's a blizzard outside, and you walk in here with a slurpy? I said, it's one thing about living in the United States. You can do what the fuck you want to do. This is what the fuck I wanted to do. And then sit up there and had a jackpot in the next five minutes. I know that bitch was livid, okay? Because gamblers are weird, okay? She did that to throw off my aura because she just a bitch. But I'm a bitch, so it bounced off and I threw it back at her. Got me a jackpot and left. Slurpee still wasn't through, Okay. Yup. So that's what I'm saying. When you throw that hate out there, it's going to come back. So that's when you have to be careful what you throw out there. You need to start throwing out some love, some um, respect, some understanding, shit like that. It go further. Okay, it really do. See, because hate, you throw it out there, and everybody who get on board with it, they get on board, but at some point, 
They ask them, they say, why am I hating on this person that didn't do anything to me? Yeah, she mad. She has been talking a lot of shit. Let me go back and see what that bitch was saying. Okay? Then they revisit the whole scenario and they realize that somebody wants you to pick sides. And I kind of just want you to pick the right side. Okay? Right is right, wrong is wrong. Pick the right side. Pick the right side. If you're going to pick a side, if you ain't going to pick a side, then okay. But if you're going to pick a side, pick the right one. Okay? That means you're going to have to do your due diligence and find out what the fuck is going on. Okay? You just can't go on hearsay. Hearsay won't do it. Okay? It won't do it. You, you really got to ask the right questions. Okay? When you ask the right questions, you get the right answers. Are, are any of you a fan of this movie? I can't remember who it was, but he said he it was I robot. Huh? Yeah. You finna go to bed? Yeah. Can I have a, some sugar? Y'all yeah. couldn't say goodnight. Mm -hmm. Night night. Window. The kids is in the room if you want to say goodnight. I think Tiffany in there too. <laughs> and goodnight, John Boy. Well, I'm just close my closet door. I don't know who's been in my closet, but um, the closet door is open. Please close it. So anyway, y'all, that was my brother. Yeah, it's kind of late. You know, usually I don't be on here this late. I don't have a usual. I just come. Okay? I'm, I'm going to try to get a schedule, y'all, but I come when I can come. When um the spirit lead me, when I can, you know, because everybody's, the whole family is here but Angel. But see how quiet it is? They allow me to do this, and um I'm doing it, and I done been on here over an hour. And I'm supposed to get off, but um, you know how it is. I miss you guys. I want to come, like I said, I want to do three days a week. I really do, but I find life just be calling me and calling me, and it's hard to get these, you know. But it's Monday. This is late. Y'all probably not gonna see it until Tuesday, but I am doing it on a Monday, and I'm gonna try to do it on Wednesday. And I can't promise I'm gonna be back on Friday, but I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm really going to try. And I know I, I I say things to offend people. Not to offend people. That offend people. I don't say it to directly offend anyone. But I know things that I say can be quite offensive. Because, um, give me that container right there, Romulus. That, that, come here. See? See? The clear one? Yes. Yes. Thank you. I say things that offend people because people like to play make believe and pretend that they um better than 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 whoever. Okay. I did that one time, we was kids, and my cousin Kelly said, You heard my feelings. I said I did. She said, Yeah, because you implied that you better than me. I said I'm sorry. She said, why did you say that? And I told her that I was told that. Guess what I was told, y'all? That we judged on our skin color. And um, I'm glad I'm not your color. And she looked at me and said, why you say that? And I said, because I was told, and Vern said, we're going to be separated. She said, no, that's not what people are trying to do. We're trying to come together and not be separated. You were children. Okay? Kelly was spitting knowledge like that. We were children. Because when we were in elementary school, they were still trying to convince us that we deserved second class education and teachers and accommodations in schools and things like that. And she brought it to my attention. The real. The real, y'all. And the real is, it's a system designed 
to have us against each other. And as long as they have us against each other, we can never win. Okay? Because divided you fall. Okay? And as long as we stay divided, we'll continue this fall, this free fall that we've been on. Well, I don't even know how long we've been on it ever since I've been here in this earth. Okay? Okay? I don't know ever since we've been here. I know that much. I do know that. Okay? And so I, I, I recognize it. I identify with it. I'm trying to um, see if I could get me together so that it's not so bad. But um, I see it. Okay? I um, see it in the industry. You see it really bad. Okay? No one really can achieve without um, tearing somebody down. I can't shine unless I dim yours. They, they don't think everybody should shine at once. And it's just a big old beautiful glimmer of shine. It's only who they pick and choose to shine at the time they pick and choose to shine. And then they say, okay, you're dim, now you're you're lit. Do you remember the movie, um, The Wiz? Now the color's green. I wouldn't be seen unless I'm wearing green. And, whoa, hold up! <laughs> I was just told that the color is now gold. Then everything changed. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's this Ferris wheel. For real, for real. Okay? It's this Ferris wheel. And it, and it's, it's like, you know, I got to put you down in order to shine. I do not feel comfortable about myself unless I put you down. Okay? That is not cool. Okay? Because something wrong with your ass. Okay? And you want something to be wrong with the people because something wrong with your ass, okay? Every individual is supposed to be the individual that they are. And you do not have to decide what individuals are what and who, how they conduct themselves. Did y'all see that? Because he was doing the video and he had to be in it. Y'all saw him, right? I let him be in. I don't know, that must have been early. I, I let him get in the video. But yeah, he's going to make sure he in the camera. Pay attention, y'all. If y'all just pay attention, y'all going to see him in my background, okay? They in there getting ready to be in, but no, he came in here, and he wanted to make sure he got in the video. Mm -hmm. So anyway, what I'm saying is that everybody is saying that I'm conducting myself with hate, okay? But it's not really what it is. What it is is that I'm hurt, not hating, I'm hurt that so many people could get on board to be evil. But won't nobody get on board to be godly. Everybody go to church, run up and down that church house and praise and do the ordinary thing. Okay? Would you say my name in front of any one of them? They hold demeanor will change. They will not be godly no more. Okay? I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. Okay? And I'm not going to stop being me. How dare them tell me not to be me? Did I tell them not to be them? I have never told anyone not to be their true self. Okay? I'm going to start to dry your hands. And my true self is who it is, and I came from where I came from. And can't nobody tell my story but me. Okay? Stop. Everybody want to tell my story, but that's not who the truth. Okay? Don't nobody want to tell the truth. They want to tell all these fairy tales. Okay? I don't know you and you don't know me. So how am I going to tell your story? I can say you're lying. You can say I'm lying. But I got proof. I can back up everything I say. I, I you know, this is not a, I'm trying to prove nothing, you know. But what I'm saying is, is that I've been quite a long time. A long time. Okay? And I don't do internet. When I went to California, I had a Facebook, but I hadn't been utilizing it. And so I started utilizing it and I um, made a decision that I wanted to use the platform to put out my story. Because all it did was 
make me be able to see clearly how I had been ostracized from my family. But not only did I see that, but I saw how comfortable so many people were with my absence. And then the people who weren't comfortable were uncomfortable with asking about my absence. They felt uncomfortable inquiring about the truth. They heard the story and didn't ask, because if they did ask, they probably got hostile uh, feedback. And so I can't focus on that part anymore. That's between them and all the haters and the liars. I decided to keep on being my true self. Okay, y'all? No ugly girls? All right. Thank you, Nanny. Okay. And I thank you, Uncle Satan, because, yeah, y'all pretty much named me that. And my cousin's like, I, I didn't, she trying to act like I knew. If, if we all so damn close, how the fuck you didn't know? Okay? Because you know I got a big mouth. I done told enough. Okay? Now, when I was at um, Anato's house, before they end up staying with Uncle Satan, my cousins came to her house to see me. And Uncle Satan came up there. I'm like, good and well, I did not want to see him. Okay? So when he came and all my cousins was there, and he was like, well, what are y'all doing here? They was like, we came to see Sharon. All y'all came to see, I said, only the people that you poison hate me. Okay? These are people that you were not, you were too busy poisoning other cousins. Okay? This is California visit. These are not your children. These are not your minions. These are my cousins. Okay? And a whole bunch more wanted to be there. Okay? And I love y'all back. Okay? I do. But this battle, it's not just our family. You understand? See, people like him think that they can get away with it because it's been gotten away with for so long. Okay? So many years, it is okay to treat black women the way black women have been treated. They don't listen to us, society, um, the justice system. Um, who wants to call and say I'm being abused when they side with the men? Okay? They say, why did you make this hardworking man act like this? Okay? I, it's so many stories that I want to share with yeah. you. Okay? Diane Squavo. Remember that name, you guys? I don't know if I was in California or out here when I heard about Diane. Diane was in an abusive relationship and she lost her life. Okay? And I'm trying to say that I want to speak up for women like her. I almost lost my life. If you could see my face, I have a scroll right here where he bust my face open from here from my nostril to here. I had to get inside out stitches and a few other things I went through that night. Okay, but yeah, so I I I, I like I be telling you, I love to tell my story though. But can I just share something with you before we go? My mom and my auntie took up nursing. So when they came to the hospital and got me, they took me home. My mom took me to her house and got a bed, end table. I, I think that room was empty. I don't remember what she said she was going to do with it. But she ended up getting a bed, end table, and pillows, blankets, and um, put me in that room. And if you ever visited us, that very first bedroom, Tamara's bedroom, was right next to the dining room. And so, when he had did this to me, I was in a state of, I really couldn't move, but they had me medicated so that I could rest and, and heal, right? So I couldn't move unless someone came and got me. And so I just laid there. I could hear, but my eyes were closed because, you know, I was healing. And my cousin Terry came to visit me with his wife, Deborah. Thank you guys. I love y'all. And um, Uncle Satan came with Yolanda. 
And they went into the dining room and sat down. And he was like, too, Uncle Satan said this to my cousin. Too bad he didn't kill her. You know, she got such a smart-ass mouth. Deborah said, why would you come to her mama's house and say that about her? Because she got a smart-ass mouth. I don't care how smart her mouth is. Don't no woman deserve what she just went through. Okay? But he was hoping I would die right then and there with, with the secret of the abuse that I went through with him. Okay? I heard you, Deborah, defending me. I know I never told you. I never said nothing. But I heard you. Okay? I heard him. I heard you. He got up and left. You was like in disbelief that he would even say anything like that. But considering in hindsight, now when you understand why he would say something like that about me. And that's the type of poison he used to spit to my other cousins. You know, he could never poison Terry against me. Terry knows me inside out, and I know him inside out. But yeah, he he he, he did. And then they're saying that, oh, he didn't have nothing to do. If he didn't have nothing to do with us not speaking to each other, why are we not speaking to each other? <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, All right. And see, they, they raised, they ignore her. Because that's what they were taught, to ignore me. Okay. Don't pay her no attention. That's just your ugly cousin. Don't pay her no attention. Why? We gonna see how much attention your ugly cousin get because I ain't going no damn where. I'll be slurping on my slurpers. Cause you know, I don't really drink. Give me some Earl Stevens up in this bitch. Okay? But I'm gonna go get some because I found a store to sell it out here. I forgot the name of it, but I know where it's at. When I go there, I'm gonna go um, I'm going to film each y'all so y'all can see where it's at, too, and go get y'all some, too, okay? Because I do got some people right here in, in this town that follow me, okay? So I'm going to um, show y'all where y'all can go get it because I can't think of the name of the place. But we Googled it and found it because I knew it had to be somewhere out here. So I found it. I'm going to go get it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep on coming. I'm going to keep on doing these videos and um, even depressed, y'all. Even depressed, I'm going to still keep coming, y'all. Because <clears throat> I'm human, you know. I, I mean, if y'all following me through this plight right now, I'm at my low. Okay? Everything that happened. Everything that could go wrong, went wrong. Everything that can happen, happened. And I lost my lighter, y'all. Sitting here, not going nowhere. I lost the lighter. I'm looking for it. Everybody don't went to bed. Well, okay. I must not need to smoke no more. So I'm just going to put that shit down. Okay? So anyway, like I said, I'm going to keep coming. I'm going to keep on doing these videos. I'm going to keep on sharing with y'all everything that I'm going through. It took me a minute to convince my girl to um, take my case. And, you know, now we have financial challenges. So, I am going to do the, the, the uh, thing that they told me to do. Um, it's what it is. So, I'm gonna, I'll give y'all the information. And y'all can help me if you want to or not. You know, you know I'm going to get there regardless. But I'm trying to check every box. Every place I can go. Just going to help me get to where I'm trying to go. I'm supposed to go there. Okay? So, they said go hard or go home. Well... I'm going to go hard, y'all. Okay? So, stay tuned, because I'm going to go hard. <laughs> okay? See, if me and my uh, brother's wife was still cool, she was going to help me get a, a new microphone. I don't know where to get it from. She said Amazon. Somewhere on Amazon. I'm sure I'll find it with that. But, see, that's what I'm saying. People pretend that they cool with you, and just when you need them, that's what they was just like. Why great till you gotta be great, okay? You're great till you gotta be great, okay? Very disappointing. So anyway, y'all, off this go. Okay, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. <laughs> and so I just hope you 
stay prayerful. Remember, these times. Is a magician? What? What? Yeah. Give me your I'm supposed to go, yeah. I'm sure. I'm supposed to go. Yeah, it's the oh, Lord. Lord. I did that. I did that. Okay? So I wanted to share this with y'all. This is not it. Okay, it was this, but it's, um, what you call it? Uh, Vix. Okay? Mm -hmm. The tissue smell like Vix. You snip it, and it smells Vix. Mm -hmm. I know it's like a life bar for all this stuff. Y'all just don't know. So, yeah. So, um, I'm supposed to go, y'all. I'll be back, okay? I know. I'll put some, I'll drop some bombs today. But yeah. you know why? Because my folks try to act like they don't remember, okay? But y'all want to, um, um, try to push a, a, a narrative of fakeness, a bullshit, okay? Why? Why y'all trying to do that? I don't, I don't know. But I want the rest of y'all to ask that same damn question, okay? Why the fuck they trying to push all that fake ass shit? What the hell going on? Who sent you? You know how I be. Who sent your ass, okay? The fuck? Okay, I better stop it. It's so hard for me not to cuss. Okay? So it's hard. Yeah, y'all don't understand. Because, you know, that's just part of it. It's part of my DNA. Okay? And, um, I, I be trying. I really do. I be trying. I be trying. Okay? I'm going to keep trying. I can do it. Once upon a time, I had done it. But just think about this part. The last three years. Okay? Bam. To be cussing too. Okay? The last three years, all of my fears, all of my nightmares came to reality. Everything. All of it. All of it. All. Okay? It came into reality. All of it. All of it. Okay? Mama, seven days before my birthday, Mark, what? Old Tiffany birthday? I, we don't know. Because he was in California with his family. And I guess I didn't deem um, worthy of that info. Okay? So, yeah. So, all I know is that it was the first week of uh, April. Okay? I inquired. I don't know why people was acting like, what you want to know for? I'm like, wow. Wow. Okay. I'm still me. Y'all can pretend that I'm that bitch that you made up in your mind and all that bullshit you told yourself and whoever would listen. But this is who I really am. Okay? Don't forget that part. Okay? I lived that shit. I survived that shit. It was my life. Can't nobody tell my story but me. Because y'all did not live with me. Y'all was on the outside seeing this shit I did behind my back. Okay? And so now that you're grown women, how would you feel about somebody telling about what went on behind your back? Okay? Because you don't know until you find out. Because niggas do what they do. They do what they do. Okay? And you never know until you find out. Unless you a Wendy Williams and just be like, okay, just don't bring no damn babies home. Okay? I ain't giving my big man permission to go out there and go around forever. Never. Okay? If he do, he chose to. I didn't give him permission to. Okay? Fuck that. I'm going to just let the fox in the hen house? Hell no. 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 Yeah, hold on. Did y'all see my ticket? Okay. That's it. It's always a hit. I'm telling you, it's that five minutes. Okay? I'm just saying, that five minutes uh, 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 make anybody's chicken a little bit better. Okay? Just five minutes. Don't overdo it. Okay? 
to get that shit out of here. Woo woo. Okay. Put it in there and turn that oven off. Off. It's on, the oven on. Whatever you've been cooking in the oven and you doing some chicken, you take that chicken, turn that oven off and stick it in that oven. <laughs> okay, as the seed down, it's gonna still do it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Because they talking about the chicken in my background. I know, I'm one of them ones doing my chicken, okay? You'll be like, girl, you should sell dinners. I ain't doing that. No. If I was in California, because I would have some people to help me, but out here, it would be me and Barbara. I don't know where Nancy at, you know? I lost touch with Nancy. And I'm noticing that um, I asked you to get in touch with Nancy. And, and, you know, I, I don't even know if you on my page no more. Okay? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to look and see. Okay? I don't be tripping until I want to talk to somebody. When I want to talk to them, and then I look them up, your friends, you know, you look up your friends. Because I used to have 300 and something friends. Now I got like 100 and something. So half my friends are gone. I didn't delete them many people, okay? So either they deleted me or my hacker deleted me. And my hacker is a pathetic person because it's personal, y'all. Remember I told you my hacker's personal. They not trying to get fame, fortune, and money. They ain't trying to do that. They just want me to look stupid. And um, they don't want me in communication with my relatives, okay? Because it's not a coincidence that the people who were deleted is family members, okay? And I'm going to quote my, my girlfriend, Barbara. That is so sad, okay? And she ain't lying, okay? I miss you, Barbara. Lanier, I have to say her name because it's a, uh, Uncle Yank's ex named Barbara. <clears throat> and she out there somewhere, okay? And so I, I don't, you know, I gotta live, make sure they know this. My my friend Barbara, my bestie out here. You know. So yeah, I miss you, Barbara. And so it's gonna be okay. I, I'm just going through some things, and so I wanted to come on. Y'all could tell when I'm going through something. See, when I come on here and I'm like, boom, 30 minutes, I'm gone. But when I linger like this, you know, I'm going through some shit. Okay. So I use y'all. To vent, and I speak all of the shit. I just speak it, okay. So, try to make it better, okay. Love, love, love. I'm doing wrong, 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 but I'm trying to fix it, okay. So yeah, I am. I'm trying to fix it. That to do to do list is helping. But I did that to-do list, so now I look at my to-do list, and I'm like, okay, i got to make something happen today. And, you know, I really try to get on top of making something happen. But without the to-do list, I'm laying up thinking about doing the to-do list. Mm -hmm. And when I'm laying up there thinking, about, I need to do a to-do list, I need to do a to-do list, I need to do this, 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 that. I need to do, do and all this shit. But, lady, I think about what I need to do. Okay? Which do not work out to, you know, to be nothing. So I'm trying, you know, stop that part and I'm um, willing to do some stuff, okay? Y'all look over there for a minute. I'm going to try to, okay? Thank you, guys. Okay? So anyway, this, I don't even know what kind of channel I'm going to have, y'all. Because y'all know y'all my foundation, and we just trying to figure it out together. But definitely, the channel exists, and we interacting. And um, like I said, I'm going to try to come on um, three days a week. You know, I really am going to this year try to commit to that. Okay? That is my one of the, the to-dos on the to-do list, is to commit to that. You know, being here three days a week at a certain time. So that you can know I'm coming, you know I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be in competition with nobody because there's people out there doing their thing. And if I try to come on, 
when they own it, nobody gonna watch it, okay? So I'm trying to get that straight, okay? Once I get that straight, okay? Because I'm just saying, I, I, I'm like, I'm one of them girls from Richmond, but uh, most of Richmond didn't like me, but the bitches who did like me, bitches are scared of. <laughs> okay? And I didn't do that on purpose. It's just because the bitches they scared of be some real bitches. I mean, real. You know what I'm saying? They they not about all that fake shit. They, they already beautiful, smart, and plus they got hands. Okay? I don't grow up with bitches like that. And they grew up to be some dangerous ass women. Okay? <laughs> shit. I'm just saying, all right, but they my girls, all right, and and when I went into town, the first person I ran into was one of my, my, my people from my past, and it took her a minute for me to get her to remember me, but when she remembered me, she went and found my family and um, gave them my phone number, and I lost that number, in case you see this, I lost that number, girl, uh-uh, oh, stop, <laughs> And so, anyway, she the first person I ran into. I went up to Social Security and ran into her. And I told her. On what they're called. Um, they see how they do me? Oh, no. I you know what? Yeah, do it yourself. Why are you messing with me? And you ain't even supposed to be in there. Ain't everybody going to be here? Why are you still no. in here? We're all eating dinner. Okay, I need you to, to go in there. Okay? Take that with you. Okay? He done went and got him a plate and sat right in front of me, y'all. Yeah, this is a plate ass. No, but he came I... here and sat right in front of me. Okay? And I'm doing a video, so you know I'm talking shit. Get off of my phone. It's supposed to be charging, and I want you to go. But I want you to go. Okay? You brought it to my attention that you're just sitting there. Why? Why? I, I really don't want to know. I, I'm lying. Huh. So, anyway, yeah, I didn't even see his ass here. He's behind the laptop. I couldn't see. Okay? Then I heard the phone. I'm like, what? Why is you on my phone? But he, he helped me with my videos, right? But his my um messed up my computer. Messed up my phone. Downloading all his stuff. Upload, download, whatever. So now my phone and my computer is slow and it's not acting right. And so when I was trying to figure out what was going on, I wouldn't uploading the videos because I was feeling like it wasn't coming out right. And I'm like, uh, -uh I don't want that one, I don't want that one, I don't want that one. And so that when I was doing my studies it said you're supposed to make a lot of videos that you're not gonna use so you can have something I guess to dissect the tear up as I'm learning how to edit. Okay? So God be with me, I'm I'm working on this stuff, y'all. It's, it's it's a lot to learn and I'm willing to learn it. And I'm learning it and it's 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 like we did a video, so let me explain this video, y'all, because I don't know if it went on YouTube or if it went on Facebook, but it was audio. Well, that was your ugly cousin channel on Facebook. But I didn't know how to get the video, but I did get the audio, okay? So I'm working on it, okay? And so I did that from Facebook, y'all. And I, I'm going to look and see if it went on over to the uh, YouTube channel, because... Um, I haven't even visited the channel in a few days, okay? I, I think we're still at 14 subscribers, okay? Which is awesome. I don't know if I even announced that we had got the 14. I, I think I did because I remember saying, uh, lucky 13 plus one. Because <laughs> I know I'm silly. I was saying lucky 13 plus one. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back, y'all. I promise y'all I ain't going to be lingering, okay? And, um... Like I said, I want to do the three days. One of the days is going to be a cooking day. That's why I got to learn how to edit. Because that video, I've seen some other cooking videos. And if I can't make the video like the ones I've seen, I don't want to do it. Okay? 
I really don't. Because it's not going to be live. It's just going to be like this, y'all. A video that I did and then y'all going to see it. And so I want it to be smooth, magical, understandable. Uh, you know, I want y'all be able to understand what I'm doing and go do it yourself. It's not going to be a, um, here's the recipe to this and this and that. It's just going to be like, um, I'm, I'm, my brother's a diabetic. And so I'm learning how to, uh, cook meals that are healthy for diabetic people. So I'm going to be doing that kind of stuff. And then I also see this lady baking some bread and it was an epic fail. So now I ain't scared to fail in front of y'all either. So I'm going to get some, I'm going to try to bake some bread. See how that goes. Okay. And just do stuff like that, y'all. And uh, Friday is just freestyle. Whatever, you know, we decide we want to do on Friday. And then Mondays, okay? Monday is like, okay, hustle day, you know? Um, is we getting our hustle on when it's up, with, you know? And so, yeah, I have a vision for those few days. But I come on like this because I'm not um, doing it regular like I'm supposed to be doing, okay? My girl is, is killing it on Facebook. And I told her she should go over to YouTube. Okay, and if she do decide to go over to YouTube, y'all follow her. Y'all gonna follow her. She's awesome. Okay, and she gonna blow up. Okay, remember you heard her name from me first though. Okay, but she's gonna blow up because she is the shit. I'm telling you, she is the shit. And people is gonna come together and help her with the bullying because um, she addresses a lot of bullying, and so do I. But she's addressing it like a business and I was taking it personal and I was dealing with it on a personal note and so when um, duplicate people would send me friend requests and those were the hackers and they got in and I, I really have been trying to get rid of that's what I was trying to do get rid of the duplicates and and um, make sure it's really the right person because I'm like aren't we friends already but then they said oh well I'm doing a new Facebook but if they don't tell me they, they did a new one then I don't accept it because it's, that's how the hackers get in. They pretend to be like, um, if they following me or if they know me, like I said, it's personal, then they know people who, friend, I would accept. And they go take a picture of that profile and they send their friend request in that person's name. And that person did not even do that. And that means they must have set up a phony Facebook account in that name. So that means that if I've got five requests from you. There's five accounts out there in your name. That's what I'm guessing. There's five accounts out there in your name. And so I have two, I have three accounts. The first account I I interact with so I can keep it active. And um it's in memory of when before my life blew up. And it shows all the friends that I had, which was my family. And um, that shows how I had, like, I have to look at that page. I had over 600 people on that page, okay? Because all our family was on my page. We was all pretending like we loved each other, okay? But then when the shit hit the fan and everybody started finding out my business, everybody wouldn't judge me. And I never judged them. And I thought that's how they liked me because I, I wasn't that type of person that judged nobody. Okay? But now everybody trying to judge me. Okay? Talking about what they would have did if they was in my shoes. Okay? But, and and I, I didn't speak on it. I had nothing to say what I got to say. Okay? And so now that I am speaking on it, everybody got a problem with it. But y'all can talk about me, but you can't talk to me. See, that's not a conversation y'all can have. See, it's best to talk about somebody than to have a conversation with somebody. Because therefore, you, you don't have to validate the truth. Okay? As long as you're talking about them, you can try to justify that your accusations is validated. Okay? When in reality, you is just pumping the hate. Okay? Because if you was trying to pump the truth, you would have the both sides there. Okay? But everybody that is on the hate, you, you don't know both sides. Okay? And did you notice I'm not trying to give you mine? Okay? By the book. Okay, because I wrote a book about it. Okay, right? Buy the book. You really want to know my side. Buy the book. Because I don't want to talk to none of y'all. Okay? It's too many of you. Okay? For one, it's too many of you. Okay? For two, 
It's a rally of haters. It's not just one or two of them. It's a rally of them. And the narrative is ignore her. Okay? But while y'all ignore me, let's see how the rest of the motherfuckers feel. I don't think they're going to ignore me. I think they're going to know. Okay? Okay? Because remember, it's not just y'all. You got a Richardson side of the family, which, yeah, I know, in California, I ain't really in touch with them. But I am in Texas. I am in, in, in Southern California. Okay? I don't have no problems with none of them. And they want to know what I'm talking about. And I'm just to tell them. Okay? Mm -hmm. To the left me alone. I pray through this. Okay? Because this is some evil shit. Y'all think I'm playing. This is evil shit. And I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Okay? And then, you know, I'll be on here and I'll be talking about how um, the bitches is, is, is riding the coattail. Okay? And if y'all into witchery, by now you know it don't work on me, right? Because I'm a child of God. Can't touch this. Okay? Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Come child. Okay? Yes. Get to know Jesus. Put that witchery down. Get to know Jesus. That's why y'all miserable. Y'all think, okay, I don't have all of y'all accolades and stuff, and I go through my, my, my shit, okay? But I know I'm way more happy than y'all because y'all some miserable bitch. And if, if you think I'm talking about you, yeah, I'm probably you. Because if you ain't a miserable bitch, you know I ain't talking about you. Okay? Work on not being a miserable bitch. Okay? You would do the whole world some good. All right? Because you can't test this, okay? I don't care what kind of witchery you try to do. It ain't work yet. I rebuke you in Jesus' name and it's going to backfire on you. Land on you. That's where it's going to land. On you. Not to me, but you. Where's my mic? <laughs> it's going to land on you, not me. On you, not me. On you, 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 not me, 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 but you, you, <laughs> you, I see. Mic drop. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'll be back. This your ugly cousin signing out. Y'all know I'm crazy as they come. Okay? But in a fun way. Alright? It's all good. You got to laugh sometimes. Alright? Even if it's at yourself. Alright? So yeah, today I, I I was here a long time, but I, I I today was a weird day. I, I ain't going into detail, but thank you guys for watching, listening, comment, share, like, subscribe. <laughs> okay, thank you guys. Okay, so y'all, I see y'all tomorrow Tuesday. See, I could work on some stuff Tuesday, and then I see y'all Wednesday. Okay, I'm trying. Okay. If I come back, it'll be live on Facebook Tuesday, okay? I'm just going to see if, how many people don't cuss me out for the damn video I put out. A lot of them just cussing me out subliminally. <laughs> but I'm sure some had the nerve to comment some shit. But it's whatever. Okay? Because I'm going to keep coming, y'all. Worldwide! They can't block the whole world. Okay? That's what I think, okay? So we're going to figure out, like I told y'all, when I do my live, it's one person. It's like it came but one person come on. Okay? Yeah. It's never the same person either. So is my shit blocked to just have one person watching me? Can they do that? I don't know, y'all. Y'all let me know. But I'm going to go, okay? Because I've been here a long, long time. <laughs> As my brother would say. So... I hope you get a chance to watch. You know, watch it in sections. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to name it. And I'm going to um, post it. And I'll see y'all on my next trip. 
This is your ugly cousin looking for her lighter. This is your ugly cousin signing out, okay? Bless her.